Hello there and welcome. Today we are taking a full look at the Nerf Elite 2.0 Double Defense Pack. Now this pack is a Kohl's exclusive and includes a repainted Spectre and the updated Warden. Let's jump right into it. Included in the box, we have the updated Warden, a repainted Spectre, the Spectre's Barrel, the Spectre's Stock, 40 Nerf Elite Darts, and the instructions. First, let's go over the Warden DB8. The Warden features two sling mounts, one right here and one right here. It has one tactical rail on the top. It has three holes between the barrels that actually can fit Elite Darts but they're not held in at all. This totally could have been extra storage. I'm not sure why it wasn't. Operation is exactly the same as a rough cut. This is a pump action blaster with a two stage trigger with slam fire. So let's say you wanna fire two darts at once. You prime it and pull the trigger all the way. But if you just wanna fire one dart at a time, you lightly squeeze the trigger. And then of course we have slam fire where we hold down the trigger and repeatedly pump the handle. That is the Warden. Now let's go over the Spectre Rev 5. Now the Spectre, of course, was an end strike blaster way back when, then it was redone for the Elite line and made a Walmart exclusive. And then very recently in 2020, we had the Icon Spectre, which was a repaint of the Elite Spectre. From what I can tell, this is also a repaint of the Elite Spectre, though the trigger does feel much heavier. You have a sling mount right there. You do have an end strike barrel attachment point, and of course this includes a barrel. This is one of my personal favorite barrels of all time. Now right back here we have the stock. It is a really fantastic length, but it is extremely wobbly. And that is because it has a gimmick. If you pull the stock backwards, it unlocks it, and you can hinge it and press it. And now it's locked in, so it is a folding stock. And yes, it is an end strike compatible stock, so you can put this on any other end strike style blasters and you can put other stocks onto the Spectre. Operating the blaster is very simple. There is a button on the left side. You press that, pop up in the cylinder, and you can rotate it and load your darts. And then to fire, you pull the priming handle back and release, and it does not have slam fire. And that is the Spectre Rev 5. Now let's take these both outside and grab some chronograph numbers. First up, the Warden. 65, 63, 51, duplicate 51, 54, 58, 55, and duplicate 55. So actually the rough cut might be hitting a little bit harder than this blaster. The uh, darts were brand new. That performance is about what I expected. Now moving on to the Spectre. 75. 74. 71. 75 again. And 71. That is definitely very solid performance for an elite style pistol and I do believe this is hitting about the same as the Elite and Icon Spectre, meaning it is just a repaint and nothing really has been done inside. So what are my final thoughts on these blasters? Let's start off with the Warden DB8. Now back in 2020, when the Warden was first released, it was notorious for breaking right out of the box. Hasbro has addressed the issue and that is no longer a problem with the Warden. But even now with the Warden working perfectly, is it a good blaster? Technically, the Warden is a fine blaster. It's pump action, it fires two shots at once, you have a two-stage trigger and slam fire. So it's fun to use and feature packed. But the problem with the Warden is it's a strictly worse rough cut. The tolerances just feel better with the rough cut. The trigger is smoother, the prime has way less resistance on the rough cut, and the Warden is clipped and solvent welded so it's not gonna be easy to open. The other thing that really bugs me about the Warden is it is just pretty much a rough cut. Like, there's literally no reason to get a Warden over a rough cut. Even if you don't like Wave 1 Elite 2.0, at least most of the blasters had something different to offer. Why would you want a Turbine over a Rapid Strike? Higher FPS and a higher rate of fire. Why would you want a Commander over a Strong Arm? The Commander has way more tactics. Why would you want a Warden over a rough cut? 
absolutely no reason. This thing doesn't offer anything that the rough cut doesn't already offer. So I think it's a fine blaster, but if you have the option to get the rough cut, I'd recommend the rough cut over the Warden. Now on to the Elite 2.0 Spectre Repaint. Now this is basically the same as the Elite or Icon Spectre, so if you like those, this is the exact same thing. It's a very comfortable pistol that has very poppy performance. If you're familiar with the Spectre stock, you'll know it looks very cool, but it's kind of a joke when you put weight on it. Though I will say, even if it's not the best stock, it's really nice to have another stock in the Elite 2.0 paint scheme. But I think just about everybody loves the Spectre barrel. For one, it is super wide, so you're not really going to experience any barrel drag. And in my opinion, it looks super awesome. If you own a turbine, you'll know that this thing is very picky with barrels. But because the Spectre's barrel works a little bit different, it locks on just fine. As someone who really enjoys the turbine, this being my favorite of all the Wave 1 Elite 2.0 blasters, it's really nice to finally have a Spectre barrel in the matching colors. Now the Spectre itself is a fine blaster, but it's definitely not as practical as something like a strong arm. It does have the pop out cylinder, just like the strong arm, but you have one less shot and no slam fire. I'm not saying it's bad by any means, it is a pretty fun little pistol, but I think the strong arm is definitely more practical. And if you really like the tactics of the Spectre, but also want slam fire and more capacity, there's also the Commander. So should you consider this set? I would say for full price, probably not. But if it's on sale and you want this new Spectre color that may become collectible, then I would say maybe go for it. I don't really think there's anything objectively wrong with this set. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this review of the Double Defense Pack. I would love to hear all your thoughts on these blasters. And happy nerfing.